Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D flip text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps. To this end, you can pick whatever you want. After that, let's go under the 3D rendering option and under the renderer, we are going to change this to Cinema 4D and just click on OK. Now we have our composition so first let's add our text by clicking on this text tool just click and type whatever you want i'm going to type motion which is going to be my first letter let's align it over here now let's make its anchor point in the center so select the layer hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool now we have this we can maybe scale this up now we are going to add our next text in which we want this to convert so i'm going to duplicate this layer and let's type our next text which is nation now it's completely up to you, you can add whatever text you want let's align it in the middle as well Perfect. Now I'm going to quickly change the color of both of these texts to red so that we can see what we are doing. Let's make this red as well. Now we are going to add our characters one by one. So for that, let's select any of these layers. Let's duplicate this. Now over here, we are going to type the first character, which is M and let's change its color to white. We are basically going to animate individual letters and after that we can create the other ones one after other so let's make sure that its anchor point is also in the center so double click on this pan anchor tool now we can hide our second text so let's hide this one and let's just quickly align m with our first text so m goes over here now we can make it 3d by clicking on this icon and let's select this let's open this up under the geometry option we have this extrusion depth let's set this to 50 so that it will extrude our text now we can do one more thing we can add colors to this extrusion by simply going to animate let's go to the side and let's add a color and under this we can change this color to whatever you want i'm going to make it blue for this example like that now we can select this layer and let's change the view and i'm going to change this to let's say top view and right now you can see our anchor point is not in the middle it is somewhere in the front so we can select this move anchor tool and let's just click and drag and let's move it somewhere around 25 which is in the middle of this maybe something like that so now it's in the middle and if i press r now you can see we can rotate it from the middle perfect let's go back to the active camera there you go we have our first character now we are going to animate this so that it converts into the letters of our next text which is nations and you will notice one more thing in motion we have total six characters but in nations we have seven characters so we can duplicate one of these characters from motion to turn into one of these characters in nations so first let's animate this so by adding a keyframe for this and we are going to animate the y rotation let's press p for position and also let's add a keyframe for the source text so let's go under the text let's add a keyframe for source text now we can select this press u let's quickly zoom in and let's go to the one second mark first we want our character to move let's say to the top there you go now let's go to the two two second mark and let's hide our motion and let's enable our nation's character now at two seconds we can like move it to whatever character you want it to transform so i want this m to convert into n so let's just align it roughly where we have this n now we are going to change this to n by simply going to somewhere in the middle and let's move the source text over here now what we can do is we can zoom in and let's move like one frame ahead and we can just simply double click and let's just type our next character which is n so you can see it will automatically change to n over here now we also want to have rotation in this point so let's move the rotation keyframe over here and let's go to this point and we can rotate it let's say a full 360 degree so i'm going to just type 360 now let's go to three second frame and let's just move it down below so that it aligns with our next text so let's just roughly align it there you go we can do one more thing let's move it a little bit further so all of these lines are like straight and there you go now if i press play you can see we have our m coming up and then it transforms into n then it goes back to its original position now what we can do is we can select all of these keyframes let's press f9 to easy ease them let's go to the graph editor now if a graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph let's select all these and we can change the curve to look like this so we want them to have this quick motion in the middle so now if I press play, you can see RM goes to the top, then it flips and then it goes back to this. Perfect. 
so here we have transformed our first character into this now we are going to repeat this step to for all the rest of the characters so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue let's enable the motion let's duplicate the m and let's press u this time we can change this to o so for that we have to go to this point where we have this source text option let's change double click and let's change this to o now we can go back to the beginning and let's just play around with the position of it so o is the second character so we can move it to this point there you go and also we can move it over here so now o will go up and instead of going up we can move it like down below so let's move it down and we can also move this point down as well now let's enable disable this and enable our next character so we want this o to transform into or just to keep it over here and we can place it onto this o so let's go to this point and instead of n we can just simply delete this or let's just double click and just keep it to o so that it will go to this position let's go to this point and we want it to be to the left side and at this point we want it to be at this O position there you go now we can move it perfect so now we have two characters that animate like this and after they flip they go back to this final position and the same way we are going to create other characters as well so let's just quickly select this O let's press ctrl D Let's hide the nation text and let's enable this and we can type T and this time we can zoom in and let's press U and since we have changed this text so we can move this point over here so that it will remain T and instead of going down we can move it up so let's go to this point and we can move it like a little bit more up there you go and then it goes to this point and let's move it up as well so we want it to transform into this last character which is s let's enable this layer and let's go to this point and just select this and let's type our next character which is s and let's select this and we want it to go to this end point and at last let's place it where we have this s there you go now we have changed these three letters and also in the beginning let's place it where we have this t so let's just change its position and let's move it to this point now if i press play we have t going up and then it rotates and then it goes back to this final position perfect now we are going to repeat this t once again because we have seven letters in nations and six in motion so for that we can like duplicate one of these letters so let's select this t and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's enable the motion nations and let's pick any of these characters we have done so let's go to this n and instead of transforming into s we can change this to n and instead of going to this position we can move it to the opposite side so let's just place it to this location and at last we can place it in the beginning let's play around with these so now we have this t that converts into this s and this n like that so now we have three letters left in motion this i o n and we also have three letters left in nations which is a t i so you can convert all of these to these three letters as well using the same technique and i will come back once it is done so now i have animated all of these characters and if i press play you can see all of these characters go to the top and then they flip and they convert to this final text now in order to make this like more impressive what we can do is we can add little bit of delay to these layers so let's just quickly zoom in and i'm going to randomly move a couple of these layers to here and there so that we have some variation in our animation 
and let's place this one over here now once you're done with this let's select all of these layers now hold on the alt key and press the left square bracket so that they are present in the beginning as well now if i press play you can see we have added this very nice delay to all of these letters now i don't want this letter so we have these this t like going twice so we can select this and this and we want these to be like equal let's press u and we can move and move it over here so that these two letters are like moving at once so that we don't have any repeated options so now if i press play you can see all of these characters go to the top and then they flip and we have our final reveal so in this way you can create these kind of 3d flip morphing text animation in after effects now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one